Hey guys, PK here. Well, fishing and, and crabbing is going to be kind of slow due to weather and um, also being busy with family stuff. So I'm going to show you how I set up my new buoy for my crab pot and my old buoy, as you've seen my videos, I use this big uh, boat bumper. These work really good. Uh, the visibility is top notch. You can see them from like far far away one of the problem with these that I find is that when I crab uh, early morning before sunrise um, which I do a lot I type I like to get out there um, you know an hour maybe an hour and a half before sunrise and so I'm crabbing in the dark and I do put some glow sticks just to see the boy better and I just tape it like that but many times because of the tide ripping, this is at an angle like this. So sometimes I can't see the buoy or the light because of line of sight, especially the light. So because it's blocked through line of sight, I always try to figure, okay, what's, what's another method that I can do to change so that I can see the glow light. So I made this um, new buoy with a PVC. Um, of course, it's a very normal, very common. People use um, this a lot. Um, they actually sell these on Amazon, but I've made my own. But basically, it's just a, a bullet buoy. Uh, this is size 14 by 15 inches, so it's a little bigger. Um, here is a smaller one, just to compare. Okay. And um, I have a 3 quarter inch PVC stuck right through the middle and a bolt and a bolt here on the bottom as well and also a swivel a really really big swivel and then i have a stainless steel ring attached to the swivel and the reason i attach a stainless steel ring to the swivel is because i can clip this decoy clip on there okay just like that and that's going to be for my rope and these are the swivels that I use. They're really big. Um, they are three and a half inches. They're rated for 350 pounds. Very strong, very sturdy. And to that, I attach it to a bolt to go in there. So this is really easy to make. It's super, super easy. I start off by drilling these two holes. One on the bottom, one on the top. And I put a 1024 2 inch bolt through there. And also, I attach a 1024 nut to it. And the nut, make sure it's a nylon nut. And the reason is you don't want the nut to back out. Okay, so 1024, you can use any size bolt you want. Um, as long as it goes through the, as long as is long enough so that it blocks the buoy from uh, sliding in and out. It doesn't have to be two inch. You can probably get away with an inch and a half. Okay, after I attach, sorry, after I drill the holes, uh, you slide in the uh, buoy. Okay, once you slide it in, you wanna work on the bottom uh, bolt and this will prevent it from sliding out. So for the bottom bolt, you have to um, insert it carefully and then uh, thread it through that swivel, okay, until it catches. You just attach the ring to the swivel and then you attach the swivel to the bolt, okay? You insert the bolt and then try your best to uh, uh, make it go through the eye of the swivel. It's, it's a little difficult to get that eye in there depending on how deep you have the swivel go in. Um, I have it about maybe one inch from the bottom. Okay, so just like that. And this is gonna turn freely. And also, the swivel allows you to attach like weights if you wanna add more weights on the bottom. So that way it kinda um, lays vertical. But during, when you're crabbing, the current is gonna make it um, turn at an angle. The weight kind of keeps it vertical so that way you can see the uh, 
you can see your buoy. Okay, so the final product looks like that. You have your ring attached to the swivel, and then your bolt right there, okay, and then your buoy, and then your three quarter inch pipe. One thing about the, the, the pipe, the shaft, you can make as long as you want. Um, if you're on a boat, you want to make at least maybe five foot because boat tends to sit higher off the water. And this is only about two, two, two and a half feet maybe. And the reason is I'm on a kayak. I'm pretty much at the surface of the water. Okay. So, um, I'm not very high off the water. So that's why I have it kind of short. Okay. I can swing by just easily grab it. The other thing is I have, I drill holes up here. And the reason I did that is because I can attach my uh, glow light. And I dr drilled several holes and because um, I was trying to get the right angle. And when you drill it, you want to drill it so that it's slightly offset. Um, that way you can insert the glow stick and it doesn't pop out, it doesn't come out. If you drill it straight across, it's gonna slide back and forth. Unless you, you can make the holes smaller, of course, but um, the, I can't remember what size this is, but I drill it so that, again, it's slightly offset, and I have to stick my finger in here and try to make it go inside the other hole, so that way it's kind of it's kind of tight. It's a little tough sometimes, but that's what you want. You want it to be kind of tough, so that way it doesn't slide out. Okay, there it is. So that is not coming out. That's pretty tight. Um, it's slightly offset. Show you that. Right there, as you can see, it's slightly offset. So I would say that's probably about, oh, maybe 8 to 10 degrees. Okay. So let me turn off the light. So as you can see, um, this glow stick works better. And because my buoy is kind of popped up at an angle, on a slack tie, it's going to be pretty much vertical going like this. Okay. So with this, I can easily see it, even if it's at an angle a little bit. So I have 360 degree visibility on that light. So that's why I decided to, let me turn the light back on. That's why I'm going to use this buoy from now on and just see how it works. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, that's it. My new little project. Um, Works pretty nice. Can't wait to try it out. One of my friends has this. Uh, Jeff took me crabbing many times. Thank you, Jeff. And his setup is like this. He does not have the light though, um, because uh, when we go, we're usually fishing in the, um, you know, after sunrise already. So, but anyways, I crab a lot. Sorry, not fishing, crabbing. I crab a lot well before sunrise. So the glow stick is going to help quite a bit. So, all right, guys, that's about it. Uh, have fun fishing, tight lines.